Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Straits. So last time we spent some time in the pool with Mikhail and we we really bonded together. He opened up to us even though he's been holding it all in for so long. And now we're with Max for some reason. I think we're going to get food with him or something. He's in his sheer translucent shirt again. And yeah, I think this also is probably the last video we'll have for straight for a while because I'm pretty sure um, we're around the end point here. This might even be like a 10 minute episode, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. After getting dressed, Max and I step back outside into the warm summer air. The afternoon sun shining brightly between the trees, casting long finger-like tendrils across the campus's sidewalks. I just instantly think of Seiji's long fingers. After what happened last night, it feels good to keep my mind busy despite the day feeling like one task after the next. So far, the extra time with Mikhail has really paid off. I can still feel his touch as he squeezed me gratefully. That's... ooh, where did he squeeze you? You can't put a price on being there for a friend like that. And while I still feel indebted to him, I feel like we've moved to another level in our friendship. And I won't complain about the other side of Max either. At first, the thought of being stuck in a dorm room with Max seems suffocating. Like being thrown into some gladiatorial arena with a wild animal that would just stalk me until I didn't have the energy to fight back any longer. That's cool. Mikhail talked to you. Oh yeah, honestly, it made me feel really good. I've been trying to get stuff out of him forever. I gave up, but I'm not that good at that stuff anyway. I'm sure you've guessed that I'm not the easiest person to talk to. We walk in silence a bit more. My eyes shift over towards him, desperately trying to read his inconsistent body language. I mean, you can see his whole body, so it can't be that hard to read him. <laughs> hey, which store were you going to anyway? I think the one... I think the one the other... Wait, I think the one the other direction is closer. Not, not me this time. It's the game's fault. Gotta point it out when I see it. I lied. We're not going to the store. Wait, what? An awkward tension descends on the conversation like a thick, milky fog. Is we okay? <laughs> Alright, as we step through the archway into the park, a th thick, milky fog. That's interesting descriptor. Part of me wants to say something, but part of me wants to just wait him out and bask in the uncomfortable silence, knowing it'll do the work for me. Did you really mean what you said earlier about my brother? I don't even remember what I said. Yep, and there it is. What do you mean? In the coffee shop, I told you my brother had autism and you had this stunned look on your face when I told you people made fun of him. Were you just looking that way to be nice? I was just surprised you didn't come out as having autism too. Hell no, why would I make fun of him? Because most people do. Even the ones that act like they don't, some people are just polite when they're close, and then you can't hear them giggling when they get further away, like when they think you're out of earshot. I just figured you were like that. No way, honestly, I'm glad you told us all that. I could tell you are really serious about looking out for him. I never thought I'd say this, but I really respect you for that. If I tell you something, will you promise not to tell anybody? I swear on my heart that I'll tell no one but Brayden, and then probably Mikhail afterwards. Absolutely, man. I know I talk crap about feelings and stuff, but it did feel good to openly talk about stuff with you guys earlier. I actually did feel better, I just didn't want to say it in front of everyone else. Usually I just say something stupid and people end up leaving or avoiding me, which just makes me more angry, so then I do crappy stuff. It's a cycle. Mikhail was the first person who ever really gave me a chance, and you guys seem different than most people, and I guess I appreciate that and stuff. 
Aww. I guess I was just worried that you were being sarcastic again. That you didn't actually like me. Now I'm feeling bad for being sarcastic when I insert this extra dialogue for Zack. Definitely not. I actually kind of like having you around now. Max awkwardly smiles back. It's really hot seeing you wrestle with Brayden. <laughs> Can you do that again, all naked? It's, it's, I kind of want to get some food this time and really just enjoy it. You're okay too. He stops at a park bench and sits down, still lost in thought. You okay? I guess I was jealous of you. Why? I spent a lot of time with Mikhail between the room and, s and the swim team. Hell, we were swim partners last year. He's one of the first people to actually put effort into getting to know me more, so I've gotten kind of protective of him. Aw, does he like Mikhail more than just his, you know, F buddies? I saw you as a threat when I saw him gravitating towards you because I figured you would take him away and I'd lose the only friend I've ever really had. So I just got angry because I didn't know how I could compete with you. If it makes you feel better, he actually talks pretty highly of you when you're not around. Really? Yeah, I always thought you were a D and he kept dropping hints that said otherwise. He said you were loyal to the death. It was, he was kind of cringy when he said that, honestly. Mikhail said that? Yep. You got nothing to worry about, man. I'm not going to take your friend. In fact, maybe you got a couple new friends out of this whole thing. Max smiles, his eyes twinkling in the sunlight. Well, sorry I treated you like crap. I just didn't want to lose him like everyone else. Forgiven, man. So Brayden and I were talking a bit while we were playing Fatal Combat. Good, I'm glad he's actually talking to someone. He felt alienated with Mikhail and, and I talking so much. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys lost your house last night. Well, thanks, man. Your sorry means everything. It's like you... It's like you erected my house back in... <laughs> in just one second, right there. Nah, it's okay. Not your fault. And why did he say house? Actually, it's not our house, it's our dorm. <laughs> why did he say house? He seems pretty upset that you guys lost a picture that you took at the beach. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> stupid, stupid picture. The stupid picture on his phone because he lost his phone. Oh my god, who cares? Uh, yeah, Brayden's pretty gay like that. <laughs> it's just a goddamn picture, but he acts like it's, it's, it's our actual friendship. It's kind of weird. It was a gift from Brayden. It was just a group shot of us and Mikhail goofing off. Max slips his hand into his back pocket and pulls out the sleeve from his dorm room. I don't know if it matters, but I still had this from earlier when I made ideas for you guys. He pulls out a picture from the back and hands it to me. Ah, that's no good. <laughs> that's no good at all. Oh my. I, look at that ground texture, honey. Ooh, honey, look at that ground texture. Ooh, PS1, hello! <laughs> hello, PS1 graphics. I see you. I looked down at Brayden's high school picture and realized that I'd completely forgotten Max still had it. What is going- oh, god. Um, oh my god, and I love his name here. It's- it's you-know-what again. Fine, I'll do it. Oh god, and look at his hair. Not Max's hair, um, Zach's hair. <laughs> Not nearly as cute as he is now. He actually looks kind of bad. Anyway, <laughs> you got pics of you and the other guy? Yep, right here. I hand him a pic of Brayden I snatched off his shelf. You got a pic of him or anything? Nah, actually, I forgot to get the one back from your roommate. I should probably do that sometime. Well, thank you for the flashback, just in case we forgot why Max might be holding on to a, some pictures of... some weirdly, vaguely sexual pictures of Brayden. 
I know you guys lost a lot, but this survived, and I wanted to make sure you got it back. Especially if it's one of the only things you have from before. <laughs> from before, I guess? I guess now we have to segment- The fire was just such a pivotal- pivotal mo- pivotal? Pivotal moment in our lives that we just have to- We have to look at our lives now from before the fire and after the fire. It is- it, it is just separated, you know, our lives. It's- it's crazy. Um, so yeah. It's the only things we have from before. <laughs> From now on, before the fire, it will just be called from before. It's it's a big deal. My eyes well up with tears. Oh my lord, no, not even. Honey, your mascara's running. Do I I actually see the tear looks a little bit dark, almost like it's seriously. Almost like there's a little bit of mascara in it. I'm I'm not kidding. It looks a little dark. Max, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either, honey. Hopefully I don't look stupid. I just wanted to make sure you got it back. This is amazing. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, he's freaking out. Calm down, Max. Are we not allowed to touch him? Is that... Seriously, does he not like being touched? I'm genuinely asking. He's freaking out. I pull him in tightly and squeeze him. Thank you. I mean, I didn't do anything, I just saved it. Nah, you did everything. I completely forgotten about this. It's something, and it shows that you give a crap. It's just a picture of Brayden... ...in, I think, the really old, worn-out, used... ...um, leotard... ...we had found in the... Alright, well, I got interrupted, it's 20 seconds later, 20 minutes later, excuse me, I've lost my train of thought, I have no idea what I was saying before I got interrupted, so, you know, let's just move on. <laughs> uh, what's that other picture, I guess? Why wouldn't we? I look back down at the sleeve of the other pictures that Max had stashed in the sleeve. What's the other pic? <laughs> Oh god, it, 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 it's not that picture I took of Brayden while he was sleeping, right? Wh what did you just say? Oh nothing, just family stuff. I just kept your picture in here because I'm really careful with this one. F family stuff? You mean, uh, of your sisters and your mom? <laughs> you know, I'm not bisexual or anything, but I'd still like to, to, to take a little peek. I cock my head in curiosity. Demonetized. Is that your brother? Max looks down in embarrassment, almost like he's been caught. Yeah. Can I see him? You talked about him so highly, it would be pretty cool to see him. Max is deadpan, his tone thick with doubt and skepticism. Do you really want to see it? Hell yeah. You promise not to laugh? It's a goofy picture of us together. And I've never shown this to anyone. It's kind of like my good luck charm, gay. Promise. Max sighs deeply. You can tell it's a risk for him. Here. Aw, oh, they look fine. He hands me a picture of him with his arms wrapped around a younger boy. Why did I freeze it like that? <laughs> Why did I have to freeze that in the creepiest way possible? His face lit with unmitigated excitements. His eyes unable to hold back unconditional joy, unbridled enthusiasm. So, this is him, huh? Yeah, it was his birthday. That's by our pool at my mom's. We surprised him with a puppy. He was a screaming disaster right before that because I was trying to hold his eyes shut while my mom wrestled the puppy to surprise him. Dude, this is amazing. Even you're smiling. Yeah, sometimes his reactions make me smile. You know, neither of us will ever experience the world like he does with that much joy. I mean... You might. I, I, I don't... I don't think you can just say we'll never be as happy as him. And I bet he deserves all of it. You can tell he really likes you, just from the picture. I mean, he only has autism, it's not like... 
Like, you're acting like he has a very debilitating condition that just... I don't know. <laughs> that, like, he can't even perceive reality properly. It's almost what he's acting like. Anyway. Max smiles. Thanks, man. You don't have stuff to say- you don't have to say stuff like that, though. I mean it. I'm glad you showed me. That's pretty cool. He takes the picture back, gently rubbing his thumb over it. I miss him. I can tell. You'll figure something out. Hope so. Alright, well, nothing else to talk about. Let's... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm kind of tired of talking about your brother, honestly. It's kind of a killjoy. The air is peaceful, and Max and I sit on the bench in silence. So you brought me out here on purpose just to give me this picture back, huh? I mean, it was a big deal for you, apparently. You were crying. Your makeup was running. Yeah, I felt really embarrassed to do it in front of the group. And to be honest, I figured that you stole it from Brayden. <laughs> I, I've kind of always known you were a creep, Zack, and I, I already knew that you stole that picture from Brayden. I didn't want him to get mad at you. Thanks, bro. I, I totally did steal that picture from him. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised you knew. And I was sorry for being a D to you. Well, thanks, man. It means a lot. You, you want to head back, then? Sure. I rise... Why is he... Why does he look like... He looks majestic? No, I don't know exactly what word to use here, but he looks... Like he's a man... Like he's a man on a mission or something? I don't know. <laughs> I rise from the bench, turning... Uh, turning back the way we came. He just looks really... Uh, What's the- what- how exactly would I describe it? He looks like he has a purpose that he needs- and he has something that he needs to do. Like he's about to walk into a burning building to save some children. That's what he looks like right now. <laughs> this pose. Hey, Zach. Sup? Can you keep another secret? Sure, man. Huh. My real name's- Ashley. <laughs> Calm down, Zach. Wait, for real? So, what's your real name? Shush, that's only for my closest friends to know. I sat back down, realizing the gravity of the disclosure, wanting to give it my full attention. <laughs> Guys, calm down. Everyone needs to relax. Nothing is as important as you're acting like it is. Your real name is Ashley? Yeah, like the girl's name. That's why I don't tell people. I don't think Ashley is exclusively a girl's name, is it? I don't think so. I used to get beat up for it in school. Every year I'd try to start over with a new class and hope no one found out. But you can't hide your name when the teacher calls it out to take attendance every morning. I mean, Ash sounds pretty badass by itself, though. That's what my brother calls me, but people eventually find out what it's short for and then they start teasing me. Why did your parents pick Ashley? I was named after my grandfather. I never knew him, but everyone said that I would have liked him. Over the years, some names have become more feminine. I just got unlucky. Kids are D's. Ugh, that came out kind of wrong. Yep, my dad having a name like that would make a man out of me. F him, he's such a D. So basically, you don't tell people your real name because it sounds like a girl's name? Yeah, I got the nickname Max just because of the swimming speed, and it just stuck so pe- wait, and it, and it stuck, so I just tell people that now. Nobody asks otherwise around here. As long as Mikhail doesn't blab it to anyone. Well, he never did around me, and you can trust me. Are you sure I can trust you? You did s you did steal those pictures from Brayden. That's in the past, okay? I haven't done anything creepy in a long time. I know, that's why I told you. Gaining Mikhail's trust isn't easy. 
I've never seen him talk to anyone, so you've got to be worth it. Ever had a bully's words echo in eternity? Me either. At least until then. I mean, was he ever really our bully? I mean, he was... Before we, you know, got to know him, he was kind of rude, but was he a bully at any point? There's a few things more empowering than the validation of someone you consider a critic. If you had asked me months ago if Max would ever say anything meaningful to anyone throughout the entirety of his lifetime, I would have spitefully laughed in your face. You just... you think you're the whole world there, Zach. <laughs> Zach's head is so big, man. He thinks his experience with everyone, like, is just... That's all there is to that person. It's like, come on. Grow up a little, Zach. I went months around him and didn't even bother to ask what his name was until Mikhail told me. People can change, or at least our perception of them can if we're open to it. Sure, there's jerks in the world, but there's also people who are misunderstood. And as we sit in silence, squinting into the afternoon sun, wait, why are we squinting into the sun? We, this is bad for our retinas, I quietly hope I gain the wisdom to tell the difference. Is that the end? Okay, no. It was gonna be a really short episode. We got at least a few more minutes, I think, I hope. The walk back to the dorm is entertaining as I watch Max slowly try and pretend like he didn't just talk about feelings for the past hour. You can see the discomfort within, punctuated by subtle twitches at times, almost like some sort of aftershock following an emotional quake. <laughs> what? What the? He's twitching because he just gave us an emotional lore dump? Okay. So, what do you want me to call you? Meh. What? It's an honest question. Like, I don't know if I should call you by your real name because you confided in me, or just take the information as a gesture of trust and keep calling you Max like everyone else. I guess I'll stick with calling you Max since Brayden doesn't know. You can tell him. Really? Sure, I like him. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. Just don't make fun of me. Well, I kind of like Ash. I think it's... God, do I have to start calling him Ash too now? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't know why I don't want to, but I don't want to. <sighs> I think it's unique. Push. Fine. Is his name over here going to change to Ash? Oh. Oh dear. What are they doing? <laughs> hey boys, you napping? Uh, Mikhail's over here on the left, all cheeked out, and... <laughs> and Brayden's over here on the right, like a little toddler, taking his nappy after lunch. Like, I don't know. We opened the dorm for the second time to find Mikhail and Brayden sprawled out across separate beds. Mikhail stirs while Brayden looks completely unconscious. Oh damn, you guys finally back? Ash looks over at Brayden, curled tightly into a ball. Damn, little shinobi is out. Wait, oh my god, he did not waste a second taking off his shirt. Ugh. And why are you calling him Shinobi? Yeah, he's a heavily sleep sleeper. Don't think he got much sleep last night. I'd be surprised if either of you did. Wait, what did we do last night again? Wait, was last night the fire? Oh my god, like no time has passed. I think last night was the fire. No time has passed at all since the fire. This is crazy. I sit down on the bed and shake Brayden's leg. He stirs, rubbing the sleep out of his eyes. Where's the drinks? <laughs> there were no drinks. It was all just it was all just pretense, Brayden. The the drink was a lie. Ash fumbles. Oh god, was his name Ash? Ugh. Ash fumbles and I find myself quickly lying to save him face. Store was closed, so we came back. You guys go to the pool too, or what? Why, why is he asking that? 
I don't... You guys go to the pool? Weird, weird question. Why did you think they did? Nah, Ash and I just talked. <laughs> uh... Ash? Oh crap! You told him! Okay, this is not... Mm -mm 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 -mm. This... I gotta... Put something over this. This just doesn't look quite right. Yeah, I've gotta put something over this. Ash collapses onto the foot of Mikhail's bed. Push. That means yes. Damn. Lot of male bonding today, huh? Nothing like losing everything you have in the middle of the night to give you some perspective on who and what's important. Shame it takes crappy circumstances to bring people closer together. Sadly, I think that's human nature. Okay, I'm lost. What's the Ash thing? Max's real name is Ashley, but he doesn't he doesn't like people knowing that because it's usually a girl's name. I noticed you said Ash earlier back in the coffee shop when you were talking about your brother, but didn't know what you meant. Goodness, it's really out there. It's just big bulge. Yeah, let's just keep that an us thing though. Uh, what's the- what time is it anyway? You got something going on tonight? I told one of my friends that you guys were staying with us, and they mentioned something on the local news about the fire earlier today. I was gonna see if they had any more updates. Well, if you see anything, let me know. I still haven't found my phone. Yeah, yeah, I know about your damn phone. You won't stop complaining about it. <laughs> and that stupid picture we took on the beach. You sure? I didn't know how you guys would feel watching it. I mean, come on, y'all. Is everyone else rolling their eyes in unison with me? And just sighing, too? This is ridiculous. I mean, I lost everything that night. <laughs> I feel like the worst part is already over. You lost everything. Everything, Zach. Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Says the guy who doesn't know what room they were going to assign him to. Ugh, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, that's not going to help. Yo, Max, you're not helping either, man. Sorry. Oh, hey, think I found something. What is it? I want to see. Okay, I guess. Let's just... Let's just all huddle together on Mikhail's phone, I guess, y'all. Uh, let's just get around his pepperoni nipples and see the news, because no one else has a phone. Like, Zach, I'm assuming, has a phone. Still, he didn't say that he lost his. I'm assuming they have a computer. You know, with a bigger screen, that'd be easier to see on, but let's all huddle up. It's fine. Good lord. <laughs> Within seconds, we're all piled onto Mikhail's bed. Why? It's not like Mikhail could just tell us what the news is. Entwined like eels, all crowding around the small, dimly lit screen. My stomach aches with anticipation, unsure what I'm actually wanting from this. What's it say? Hold on, looks like there's a video interview here with one of the first responders. Turn it up, I can't hear. It's a effing commercial, Ash. It's not important. There it goes, switch it to full screen. I got- I got you. Um, Mikhail tilts the phone sideways and the stream starts. It's a stream? Uh, within seconds, the aftermath comes flashing back. Aerial, sh aerial shots of the inferno fill the screen in. So with it, all the smothering blame that I hope isn't mine to bear. Oh yeah, because we might have, we might have started the fire. It's always been burning since the world's been turning. 
The video is short, but it's enough to reawaken the slumbering leviathan of anxiety that was coaxed to sleep today's activities. Um, sexy fireman, I guess, though. College dorm consumed by fire. Suspected cause of fire is a faulty th <laughs> oh, oh dear. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a faulty thermostat which started an electrical fire. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Uh, you know, I think I, I think we might be blaming this one on Ernie. Is he's the one who encouraged me to fix the thermostat myself? Is didn't he? I feel like that's what happened, isn't it? We asked him to do it, but then he was like, "Um, I'm too busy. I can't fix it. Why don't you take some of my tools and fix it yourself?" I think he said something like, "I think that's what happened." Um, so I'm yeah, I'm passing the buck to Ernie on this one. A news anchor appears to have cornered one of the chief fire inspectors, and the camera switches to the scene. I'm here on the scene with a very tired and fatigued Jake, the chief architect of the response tonight to this catastrophic blaze that has reduced an entire college dormitory to ashes. Wasn't someone else called Jake in this game? Maybe not. I don't know. Push. Maybe if they got there faster, they could have saved the building. Fatigued. Push. More like lazy. Honey, I mean, I'm not saying that's untrue, but do we have any proof that they're actually where the fire department was being lazy? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Would you shut up and watch? What can you tell us about the response tonight? Um, alright. Well, we're actively working with school officials to try and establish accurate accountability, but all this time we believe everyone was evacuated safely, I hope. I'm really proud of all these people that came out and worked. We've had an overwhelming response- he's just saying this with a burning building in the background. <laughs> We've had an overwhelming response from the community with makeshift shelters and food for dislodged students. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, I'm conf- wait. Okay, I'm confused. So was this... Is this a re Wait, this is live? I'm... No, this is a recording when it was live last night. When he took this... When they shot this in front of the burning building. Okay, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, do we know what caused the fire? At this time, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. The school... I mean, it's... There's a suspected cause on the bottom it says at this time the cause of the fire is still under investigation the school is in full cooperation right now we're suspecting some wiring problems most likely a faulty thermostat how do you specifically know it's a faulty thermostat if you're not even sure exactly what caused it so it could have been accidental maybe we'll keep you posted so it could have been x maybe i don't know i don't know <laughs> my stomach churns and my blood runs cold I see the camera cut back to the newsroom, mouths open and close in slow motion, but I don't hear anything. I'm far away, somewhere distant. I look over at Brayden and he just looks as panicked as I am. Oh, uh, does- did Brayden know that- <laughs> Stop, stop. Mikhail, stop that. Stop it. Let's see it again, though. Um, but does- <laughs> Does, um, yeah, Brayden knows, I guess, that we fixed the thermostat ourselves. What? Oh, that's the end. Now that's the end. <laughs> to be continued. Alright, um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Straits. I actually don't know how long that video is right now, because I was interrupted four times while recording this. But... Um, it, it probably wasn't that long, but you know, it wasn't too short either, so that's good. 
Um, but I really hope you all enjoyed it. I already said that. And I can't wait to see what happens. Like, are is Zach going to get in trouble for this? Or are we going to be able to pin this on Ernie? Because I want to pin it on Ernie. We haven't seen him in a while. He hasn't been helping us out lately. So I think we should pin it on him. He's just not doing his job, frankly. Um, yeah. And uh, other things to note. Brayden's still a big baby, worrying about that picture. Zach's a big baby for crying about that picture. Uh, uh, Ash is okay, I guess. It's his brother, so meh. I'll, I'll let it slide. Um, yeah, so they're all big babies, and they need to calm down. But I can't wait for the next video, guys, so... I really hope it's soon. I don't know how long it'll take. Like, I don't remember how long it took for this version of Straight to come out from the last one. Like, I feel like it was at least three, four months, maybe. And this only came out like a month ago or so. So we could be waiting a while. So, you know, sorry, but I will try to... I know this, for this, um, for this update, I waited a long time before I did a video on it. Um... So next time, I'll try to do a video on straights as soon as it updates, like the day it updates, I'll make a video on it. Um, yeah, I'll try to at least. Anyway, I have nothing else to say. Goodbye.